Today on Two Crazy Kitas, we're gonna make cheesy tuna croquettes. And we are going under the sea right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're going to make cheesy tuna croquettes and these things are so good that even i'll eat them and i hate tuna fish you have always hated tuna fish yes ever since i was a little kid but it got me thinking when i was a kid the only way that i would eat tuna fish is if my dad made like these tuna patties he would like make them mix them up with breadcrumbs put some celery and then fry them. Well, obviously on keto. Breadcrumbs are a no-no. Breadcrumbs are a no-no. So I came up with this delicious cheesy tuna croquette. They're super delicious and they're super easy to make. How easy are they? They're so easy that even Rachel could make them. Yay, I love this. I'm so excited because I love tuna. Uh -huh. And I'm excited for a recipe that we can both like share. Yeah, absolutely. And these are really good keto macros to top it off. Now I do want to say today's video is actually going to be sponsored by Keto Bars. Keto Bars. Which happen to be my favorite bar. And these are the original Keto Bars. There's a link down in the description. If you do use that link, it helps support the channel. But I love these things because they're super clean ingredients and they're really good macros. They're great on the go. Yeah, so check out the link down below. Okay, so let's get into what we need to make this. Yes. Obviously, we need the star of the show. Some tuna fish. We need a can of tuna fish. You only need one can. And I will say this is no ordinary tuna fish. No. Okay, this is the Wild Planet tuna fish. We got this at- um, Costco. Yeah, Costco. And um, it's awesome. It's sustainably pole and line caught, so you can feel good about it. Yeah, and this is the albacore white. This is in water. Uh, I prefer to buy it in water than over the oil because this, I'd rather add my own fat to know exactly yeah. what I'm adding. You can get the oil. It's just going to change the macros a little bit. So now let's get into what else we need. So we're going to need some coconut flour. I know this sounds weird, yeah. but this is going to be a binder. And you don't taste the coconut at all. You in don't. It. Okay, now if you want to use almond flour, you can. You're just going to have to up the amount of flour. Uh, I'll put a little notation in the recipe, which will be linked down in the description. We're going to need some onion powder. Now the spices are kind of optional. It's like, yeah. I was even thinking you could add some Cajun spice if oh you want to give these a little bit of a kick. But we're going to use onion powder. We're going to use garlic powder. We need some eggs. We're gonna use two eggs. And these are happy eggs. Yep. We need some celery. You're only gonna need one stalk. Mm -hmm. We need some cheese. And we're cheating a little bit. We're gonna use pre-shredded cheese. Yes, I know there's potato starch in there, but not enough to really impact us. Mild cheddar. We need some salt. We prefer the Redmond's Real Salt. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we need some mayonnaise, and we use our own home mayonnaise. It's avocado oil mayonnaise. And you did you you made a video for this? I made a video for it. I will link that right up over my head. You'll honestly never want to buy mayonnaise again if you taste this. As a matter of fact, like we were at a mayonnaise when I was like creating this recipe earlier today. It literally took 30 seconds to make an entire jar of mayonnaise. Yeah. So if you, all you need is a stick blender, an egg, some mustard, some avocado oil, and this is foolproof. Anybody can do this. I'm telling you that a lot of people say like, oh, mayonnaise, I waste the, I waste the eggs. I can't get it to emulsify right. Follow that video. You'll never buy mayonnaise again, especially if you're into avocado oil mayonnaise. Definitely. And that's all we need. So let's push everything to the side and we'll get into this. When we were talking about spices, um, the Cajun thing sounds great for me, but we were thinking, what if we could get a kid to eat this? Well, how about, what if you can get me to eat it? Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, we were thinking about like our nephews, like is this something that our nephews would eat? And we actually gave it to Caleb and he could barely even tell there was tuna fish in there. He had to really think about what it was and it wasn't until Rachel kind of started like hinting with the can that he's, he was like, tuna oh, fish. it's tuna fish. 
You know, he was like, well, I know there's egg in it. And he's like, is it chicken? And like, he's like, no, it's tuna fish. So you ready? Yes. Here we go. So we need a bowl. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a can of tuna fish and we're gonna go drain it. This is our cat's favorite activity. <laughs> you want me to go do that real quick? Please. I don't wanna get any tuna fish juice on myself. I, are you throwing out the tuna fish water? I just kind of dumped it into the sink for Ooh, now. Ooh, I'm gonna tell Charity on you. Okay, so we're, there's a little bit of water left, but that's okay because we're using coconut flour. So we're just gonna dump it in there and just kind of break it up a little bit. Flake it. Yeah. Should have kind of showed them. I mean, this, this tuna it's... is nice big chunks. This is not cheap tuna. Um, but it wasn't super expensive. I want to say it was like $15 for like six or eight cans. It came out, came out to be like $2.80 a can. And honestly, the smell is really good. Yeah, it doesn't smell like that normal tuna fish that you're buying. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so here, let me get the, uh, me the measuring spoons and stuff. We're going to go two tablespoons of almond flour. Two tablespoons. You mean coconut flour. Oh, coconut flour. I'm sorry, <laughs> coconut flour. We like to confuse you. Okay, then we're gonna grab your um, onion powder, your garlic powder. Okay. And again, you're gonna kind of do this to taste. We're gonna go um, a half a teaspoon of each one. All right, wow. So this is the onion, and I like onion and stuff. Yeah, now we started this recipe originally with just, just some like green onion and decided like, that was really more for color, gave a little bit of onion flavor, uh, but I think it came out better using the just granulated onion. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to do a teaspoon, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon again to taste of salt. Half a teaspoon. You could probably, I would probably go a teaspoon. We like a lot of salt, so especially the Redmond salt. It actually has a sweetness to it. Yeah. Then we're gonna grab that mayonnaise over there. And again, you can use any mayonnaise. We prefer avocado oil mayonnaise. We don't wanna use all that soybean, all the canola oil, stuff like that. Mm. Uh, this is fresh made, just made today. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. It doesn't, it can, you can mound it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. By the way, if you haven't seen that video on the mayonnaise, the nice thing about it is it's made in the jar. So you pour everything in the jar, stick your blender in there. And you're done. No cleanup. It's all in one thing. Speaking of cleanup. There you go. Give me the you, top sir. for the mayonnaise. Absolutely. Okay, two eggs. I'm gonna try to just get egg in this bowl. Well, it's not gonna work when you crack it on the edge of the bowl. I know, I just, I can't, I can't stop breaking that habit <laughs> there you go i did it and then finally we're gonna do one medium celery stalk and i've already chopped it up and this is going to be super finely chopped up and i'm sorry the dog is running around because anthony just got home so she's she gets, excited she's really excited so we're gonna go ahead and dump that in there oh i said finally you need one cup of your shredded cheddar cheese this is where it gets tasty easier to just dump it. I'm gonna grab a plate. Put a couple more in there. Is that good? That's perfect. <gasps> perfect! And now all we're gonna do is go ahead and mix that all up. Is it all mixed? It's all mixed. Okay, so this is basically what we're left with. Now all we're gonna do is we're going to turn this into patties. Okay. And you have a few options. We're gonna cook this in the air fryer. Which I actually think makes it come out the best because yeah. it's just it's got just enough little crispness to yeah. it. Yeah, but if you don't have an air fryer, you can cook it on a baking sheet, you can 
put it in a little bit of oil and fry it in a pan, which is how my dad used to make yeah. them when I was growing up. The only reason I don't like doing that is because you don't know how much oil you're using. So you don't know the exact macros. And right now we are in the middle of our like cut down, like reverse deeper diet, state. Deep, deeper state keto. So we really need to know exactly what we're eating. Um, or you can, the other way you can do it if you don't have an air fryer is you can just scoop it into like some muffin tins mm -hmm. and make them like that. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're just going to actually divide this up um, into four to six patties and then kind of make a patty. And I actually have a large cookie scoop. Ooh, I like that. So what we'll do is just kind of, and again, it's however si servings you want and just kind of like make it into a patty. So we'll see how many we get. My Play-Doh skills are coming into play. How many we got there? We got four so far. Four, five, and then we're, we're gonna end up with six here. Probably have to steal a little bit from one of the other ones. Oh, no, we might be good. These guys are pretty big. They could, they could share. And this is a nice meal prep recipe. Yep. Now that's, yeah, you might want to steal a little bit so that they're all about the same. He's a little chunky. I'm going to grab an air fryer basket here. Now again, when you do this, you don't want to make them too thick because then you want to get that crispiness. Yeah. So if I can grab one here, you can kind of see about how it should be. It's going to be about like that. Okay. And then we're just going to, I don't think we're going to fit all six in here, but we'll try. We'll just go ahead and put them all in here. Now, the other thing that you do want to do, because again, you are using coconut flour, um, as your, the coconut flour is going to start absorbing more of that moisture. So if they're a little wet, you could either let it sit a little bit or you could add just a little bit more coconut flour, but not much, maybe a teaspoon. We're we gonna fit them all? Yeah, I think we will. This is the larger air fryer. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, if you're looking for one, I'll leave a link for this one down in the description. We got this one on Amazon. I think it was $99. It's their larger one. It's like a six quart one. But it's been so easy, all the kids can use it. And I like the fact that it's square. A lot of them are kind of like an oval shape or something like that. It's got this little button on it. So like, it really does fit a lot in it. Mm -hmm. Came with a bunch of extra things, plus two year warranty. Cause we've had air fryers before and they never lasted. <laughs> QVC. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go in the air fryer, 375 degrees. We're going to get it nice and crispy. Um, about 10 minutes. You may want to flip them over around yeah. the six minute mark, but just kind of judge it. So we'll put it in and we'll let you know exactly what it was when we take them out back out. So we put them in there for 10 minutes. They weren't quite as crispy as we wanted. So we put them in for another five and uh, probably a little bit too long, but this is what we've got. Probably would have been like 13 minutes. Yeah, probably about 13 minutes. So you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's a fork for you. Yay. You know what these will go really good with? Some alternate sweet spicy ketchup. Spicy ketchup. But we have to take this with- I'm gonna take a bite without it first. Yeah. Let me go ahead and cut one and show them what it looks like first. I mean, these ones were nice and thick. We changed our lights in the ceiling and now there's not enough light. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Smells good. That is so good. Mmm. He's saying the tuna fish is so good. That is so good. I'm gonna get some, actually that's a fresh bottle. I've got a little bit left in my old bottle. Let me try some with some ketchup. This Alterna Sweets is so good. If you haven't tried it, the spicy one is my favorite. It's, I'll put a link down in the description for this stuff, but this stuff is amazing. Yeah, I think this is gonna act like some cocktail and sauce. And it's only one net carb per serving. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Oh my goodness. Yeah. If you like, like crab cakes and, I mean, this is so good. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep eating. Pound it. That was awesome. 
So let's go over the nutrition on these. So breaking it down into six patties comes out to be 193 calories for each one, mm -hmm. 15 grams of fat, 13 grams of protein. Which is it, kind of impressive. Yeah. Because tuna. Tuna fish, yeah, high protein. 2.5 grams of carbs and one and a half grams of fiber. So each one of these, one net carb. And it is so cheesy and delicious. Like you're gonna love it. Yeah, your kids are gonna like them. You're gonna like them. And this is a great meal prep because you can make them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Maybe not make it quite as crispy. Yeah. Like put them in there for like 12 minutes. Storm in like an airtight container in your fridge. And then when you want to like feed them to the kids or to yourself, just stick them back in the air fryer, in the toaster oven, in your regular oven for just another couple minutes to heat it up and finish crisping it the rest of the way. Good luck keeping them though. Like every single batch we've made as a test is like already gone. Yeah, three batches already all gone in the same day. Yeah, it's just, they're just going right out the door because the kids are like, this is delicious. Yeah. So, well, that is our video for today. And you know what the best part about this is, is when we're done with this, we've got, oh, I put them away. We've got keto bars for dessert. Yay! So, so again, if you do like those keto bars, there's a link down in the description. We appreciate keto bars for sending us some. Yeah. If you use that link, it does support our channel just a little bit. Thanks, guys. So, if you like what you saw today, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye! bye.